Another one. And now, our feature presentation. Alright. Welcome back, citizens. Uh, happy uh, Juneteenth. Uh, belated Juneteenth. It's, uh, yeah, belated Juneteenth. Anyway, so I got my safe picked up. And you saw the uh, thumbnail unboxing. I'm not exactly happy, but I'm, I'm sorry. happy because I'm, I'm a little bit safer. Let me explain why I'm not happy. Uh, I'm not happy because this safe, j just like my other one, um, and you live and you learn. You live and you learn. My first one, my first safe was a Liberty 12. So in my naive mind, because I've never bought a rifle safe before. This was a lot of years back. Um, 12 means, or as advertised means, it's it's gonna hold 12 rifles, right? Rifles. And um, that just wasn't the case, but I was okay because at the, at the end, I didn't have 12 rifles when I, when I got that safe um, to, to put in there. I was anticipating that I will have 12 rifles. Fast forward, as, as the builds continued on, I was doing a couple of builds uh, for myself and putting them, trying to fit them in the, in the, uh, the safe. Not so much, didn't work. So I started to have an overflow of, of rifles. Um, and I'm talking about rifles, I'm not talking about pistols, I'm talking about just rifles. Um, whether it be SBRs, a ARPs, or like full, you know, rifles. Uh, we outgrew, I keep saying we, me, I, outgrew the safe. So I said, I'm gonna get another one. And I didn't wanna get one of those like humongous saves that's, you know, holds 50 or 60. I just didn't. I have a small little studio or office here, and um, that's where it was gonna go, downstairs, um, not upstairs. I already have my little safe upstairs, safe room, um, you know, upstairs, so I got something downstairs. Long story short, I found uh, the best deal that I could for, um, Juneteenth and, and Father's Day, right? Because they're, they're right back to back. Found it, a lot of research, a lot of looking, and I found this, uh, this 20 rifle safe from Winchester. This is a Winchester safe. 20 rifles, 20 long rifles. I did the measurements, I took the tape measure in my in my existing safe, measured it. I was like, you know what, this 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 might work. This 20 might work. If I got 10, if I got 10 rifles in this 20, which was my expectation, I would be satisfied. No. That's not what happened. Uh, that's not what happened. So we have the Winchester 20. Uh, I'll tell you the exact UPC. It is. Oh man! Wait till you wait till you hear this. It's not even the 20. You're right because I saw the 20 and I said, "No, nah, I need something bigger." It's the 24. So the serial number is the win 24 dash a bunch of numbers, all irrelevant. Long story short, 
doesn't fit 24 rifles. I'm just gonna let you know. It doesn't fit 24 rifles, point blank, period. I mean, it may, if they were like all uh, regular stock rifles, no scope, no nothing or in them. Nah, it wouldn't even. It's, there's no possible way. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you what's in there now. Listen, I'm not disappointed because it did take care of, Take care of the overflow. I did have an overflow. Take care of the overflow. But I'm just letting you know. Do your due diligence. Do your homework. Um, this wasn't. This wasn't a spur to moment purchase. This is something that I've been looking at for a long time. Um, and it's not on track. So where I got it from? Let me rewind. I got it from Tractor Supply Company (TSC), which. My neighbor told me a year or two years ago, is like, it's a good place to get dog food from. I've never heard of them. I'm like, why are we getting dog food from a tractor supply company? Anyway, doing some research, I was like, oh, okay, I see. They, they cater to a lot of stuff. So they were great. You know, pricing was great. I would recommend you go and check it out on your own. I don't, I don't talk about prices on my channel. It was a good price for what it was, for what it is. Um, but yeah, so, you know, I went there and, uh, and I talked talk to the people. I was like, yeah, I want this. Um, you know, what's delivery looking like? Mind you, I've, see, I've seen the same safe at another location. I won't divulge that. You know, like delivery is at this other location. Is a hundred and ninety nine dollars. It's safe. Anyway, two hundred dollars for delivery, ridiculous. So, fast forward, track the supply company. They had the, the right pricing for the safe. I talked to the guy that works there. He was like, "Hey, you know, we could deliver this for you, or I can deliver it for you for X amount of dollars." And I was like. Let's talk a little bit about that. If the safe costs this, then, and so he took care of me, long story short. Shout out to Bob, I'm not gonna give him his name, but he's watching, so shout out to you. Um, now we did come to an agreement, it's like, okay, for this amount, I'm just gonna put it in the, I'm just gonna drop it off in the driveway. I was like, I don't care. <laughs> you can drop it off on the side of the street. I can get it in the house. I'll roll some video in. Well, it's not a video of me getting into the house, but it's a video of me trying to go ahead and after I got in the house, it took me about 20 minutes, trying to stand it back up and, um, and uh, you know, get it set up. Anyway, long story. So let me show you what fits in here comfortably, okay? Uh, I'm gonna bring them out. Uh, Ammo's up here, but that's not gonna stay there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch it out and you can't see it anyway. Well, it fits in here comfortably. I'll just give you a, a real quick count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's seven. Now I want you to understand exactly. If you go to buy this safe, this Winchester 24, you're not fitting 24 rifles in this safe. You're not even fitting 10 in the safe, all right? But I wanna show you what fits in the safe so you know, you're know you knowledgeable. Uh, this is my uh, Air Precision Build 308, 18 inch uh, uh, rifle, fixed stock. I'm, I'm not gonna go through the details. I'm just gonna show you guys real quick. But this is an 18, 18 inch barrel scoped that's one okay one so 24 24 uh you're supposed to hold 24 rifles right i just took one out it's my bolt action it's a 20 inch Scoped. You guys are gonna get the gist of things when I keep mentioning scoped. Scope and Savage 308. 
The other one was in 308 too. Again, I'm not gonna go into the details. I'm just gonna show you guys what fits in there. So that's two. Jackal, that's the little guy, 13.7. Once again, scope. All these rifles are clear. I mean, obviously there's no mags in them, but it's clear if I'm not showing clear, but I can show clear if you want. Clear, yeah. So that's on, that's on this side. There's a little partition here which you don't have to keep this partition in. This partition is removable. You can take this partition out. Problem is this partition lines up with this shelf right here. There's like a, an insert that holds the shelf up so you can put other things in there. But that's three. And then on the other side of that partition, I'm putting all my uh, SBRs uh, on here. This is my folder. Uh, Another build, air precision build, 5.56, five, right? Red dot, no scope. Put that down. Uh, it's my 308, seven and a half, 7.75 build. Uh, uh, red dot, or prism rather, micro prism. So I'm at one, two, three, four, five. It's baby blue, my other SBR. That one was an SBR too. My other SBR. Changing the 300 blackout. So that's six. Let me just make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Six. The rest of the guns fell. In my KS forty seven uh, SBR. Seven six two by thirty nine. So seven. So I got one, two, three, four SBRs uh, on one side and three full length rifles on the other side. So this video is just really to say, do your research. I kind of knew that 20 or 24 rifles weren't gonna fit in here, um, but I at least expected 10. Right? 10, I could have, I would have felt good if 10 rifles uh, fit in there, but it's no big deal. Uh, my overflow uh, issue is, is resolved. I got it in. Uh, you sort of struggle with me trying to go ahead and, and get it upright set up and then um, uh, uh, get the, uh, the codes and change the combination. That was interesting. So I had a, I digress. Well, I don't digress. So if you buy this, if it's a Winchester, um, make sure that when you're reprogramming the combination to what you want the combination to be, make sure the door is open and then the, uh, the bolts are extended. If you if you if they're not extended and the door is not open, um, you're going to have a hard time reprogramming the the um, the combination. Um, and then if you do it more than three times, it automatically locks you out for five minutes, and then you can go back with the factory reset. Factory reset is like one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you know you you go from there. But it gives you instructions. Just follow your instructions. I'm notorious for not following instructions and trying to figure out figure it out on my own. Well, I figured it out, not on my own. I had to follow the instructions. And um, I mean, finally I got my uh, combination uh, 
to take. You guys want to know what the combo is? Whatever. Anyway, listen. Do your research. The safe. It's not the greatest safe, but at least it'll slow somebody down for a little bit. Don't have it bolted yet, because um, I, I, I thought I had the bit to go through the cement, because this is on the bottom floor. Um, but uh, I'm getting that bit tonight, and I'll be bolting it down uh, tonight. So that, uh, once again, to slow whatever down. Safes, safes are not always safe. You gotta understand the heaviest part of this safe is the door. In fact, uh, a lot of a lot of uh, uh, videos, uh, plus people at like Tractor Supply, they say, "Hey, you know, if you take the door off, it's easier to get in the house." I'm like, "Yeah, it, it might be easy to get in the house, but seriously." If it's that easy to take the door off, how easy is it to go ahead and get in the safe? I get it, once it's locked, you have these bolts, you got these one, two, three bolts, four, five, six, and they both extend. My biggest concern, if somebody really wants to get in here, all they have to do is just cut these hinges off. You know, any, anybody who robs houses or safes or whatever, they know they could just cut the hinges off. That's not a big deal, but Hopefully uh, our criminals stay dumb and they're not as, yeah. Anyway, thanks for tuning in again. Do your research. Um, you know, it, it, it fit what I needed it to do. Uh, but at the same time, just understand when it says 24 rifles or 20 rifles, just know you're not getting 20 rifles. In a, in a in a in, in a safe that says it can fit twenty rifles, all right. Uh, and that's not just Winchester. That's that's Liberty, um, Cannon, all of them. Because uh, I've got a Liberty upstairs. It's a Liberty twelve. I barely holds six, seven. Anyway, appreciate you. Have a safe weekend. Uh, we'll get back at you with more. I got a whole collection video. Uh, coming out for you guys now that I got all the rifles out. So stay tuned.